Salaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to recap the final day of the three-day event here in Maui from Qualcomm. Uh, we got a chance to actually hear on day one of obviously the teasers about the 865 and the 765. Day two, we heard all the details about that chipset and all of the things that it can do. Day three, they actually shifted gears a little bit. We're going to talk about always-on connected PCs as well as the brand new Qualcomm XR platform, which talks about basically augmented reality and what you can do with Qualcomm-enabled augmented reality headset, glasses, and different things. This is TK, let's go ahead and recap day three and the final part of the event here in Maui. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So both the technologies that they showed us today offer us different experiences. We have the Qualcomm XR that offers us basically AR and VR, and they had a separate session for that one from the basically the always-on connected the PCs with the 8CX, the 8CX 5G, and the 7C and the 8C. Um, that room actually was set up pretty much very nicely in. We had a couple of uh, reference devices for the 7C and the 8C. And for those PCs, we were pretty much just using reference PCs. The main benefit of those two is A, lower price point than what we are getting right now with the 8CX. B, we're also getting the ability of having extended long battery life on basically laptops that should be able to start below $500 with the 7C uh, platform. And of course, always on connectivity, we're talking about basically with the uh, LTE connectivity on those two options, you'll still be able to get long battery life, always on connected, affordable laptops running Windows on ARM. On the other side of that room, they gave us also a couple of uh, demos, but the one that stood out to me was the one with the 8CX 5G that was connected with the sub, well, the 5G connecting with the sub 600 uh, basically connection, and they were still able to get 1.5 gigabits down, basically pinging the server with a five gig file every 10 seconds. Although the setup that we have there, I would say is definitely very ideal for this test. Uh, and of course they were running a remote desktop and showing us basically the benefit of using the Windows on ARM uh, basically platform and how it's very, very functional, especially when you marry it with the X55 modem. Now, when we switch it over to the Qualcomm AR or the Qualcomm XR platform area, they gave us a few different scenarios there showcasing how different vendors are basically bringing in AR and XR to be able to just not only be able to use the technology, but also implement it on the road and also have basically remote assistance from somebody that's connected through the headset that you're wearing and also is able to not only help you, provide you assistance, but also provide basically augmented reality input into the actual view that you're looking through the headset. Um, we also had, of course, uh, I had a chance to play real quick with the Oculus Quest. I played a, a quick session of Beat Saber, which I apparently I'm very good at, but I'm also addicted to it. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to pick one up uh, at some point. And then last but not least, we also saw some really good AR glasses that worked with your smartphone. And they were actually demoing them on the Snapdragon 855. So this is not very new. They're available on the market now. And the cool thing about them is that they run straight off your smartphone, no additional accessories needed. You just have to have the experience. And the smartphone worked as kind of like the pointer that you normally have to have with a controller. And the last thing that was really cool about that room is that they actually had a very massive demo showing of all the different experiences, all the different headsets that were available on the market from different vendors using the brand, obviously the Qualcomm uh, setup. So overall, what I would say, day three is definitely uh, very focused on experiencing things outside of the mobile device, or outside of basically smartphones, uh, but moving them into the always-on connected PCs, as well as augmented reality. And and of course, all of these things are definitely very cool, powered by Qualcomm. I want to say thank you very much to Qualcomm for allowing me to be able to join the team here over with the XDA. And I was able to share with you guys my coverage of this event. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe as usual. Share with all your friends. And thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll link you guys the first two videos that I did, of course, for the first day and the second day. I'll talk to you guys later.